Welcome YouTube, Blaze Shadowthrone here, back again with something very different. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2010 Reverse of Arcada, uh, Let's Play. This is gonna be a blind Let's Play that I'm gonna be doing. And really, I just wanted to do something that's not Pokemon related. So, you know, we'll just see how this goes, and, you know, we're just gonna see, you know, if you like it or not. And, you know, if you are enjoying it, you know, leave a like, and just comment down below if you don't feel like you're gonna enjoy this, and you don't wanna do something that's not Pokemon related to, by all means, tell me, and I will, uh, I'll stop the series. But anyways, let's just name ourselves what we always name ourselves, which is gonna be Shadowthorn. F, uh, also, one thing that I will have to say is this is going to be a, a post-narration, because for some reason, when I went through for this, the original time, it didn't record my audio. Hopefully this wasn't a recurring thing, but I think it was just the first episode for some reason. So hopefully, hopefully this isn't uh, a thing. So this first episode will be post-narrated, so let's just, let's just change our hair up a bit. So, you know, definitely tell me if you're getting psyched for this or not, so... Because uh, I, I, I really like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, I like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! at the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! was pretty fun. And then once it got into this era, like the 5Ds, this was like right around the area where I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, honestly, so you know, we'll just see, we'll just see how this goes. So, so, um, Chief Trash, he passed out on me already. Ooh, darkness. Arg. Rar. <gasps> where did he go? I don't know. Rar, walking up temples, ominous music playing, and and three masked people. Who are these people, and what do they want? Hey, look, it's a nice forest. Running! Running! More running! Oh, look, there's a magic wand. Oh, God, they got turned into statues. How violent for a children's card game. Let's do backflips. Are they like monkeys or something? They're like running away. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Is this Planet of the Apes before Planet of the Apes? Ha 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 ha! All right, that was very thing. Have you ever played Duel Monsters before? No, I haven't played Duel Monsters before. I played Yu-Gi-Oh before. In this world, we will find three types of duels. Each uh, will conduct in a different manners. By mastering different duels, we will various styles. You will be able to develop your skills and talents in the duels. Well, you hear it. Uh, something. Chapter one. There we go. Uh, I won't be able to read too much text because I will be uh, somewhat buddy. Somebody, please help me. I can't really read the text too well because apparently, like, I put the bottom, the top screen in the bottom section because a lot more stuff happens in the bottom screen than it does in the top section. So here, a change has happened to this thing. Uh, what is it? See this way, the pattern? It doesn't look like the subjects make contact. Oh, it made contact with the dual world. Uh, really? Then all of our research is not fit for nothing. Okay, that's enough for today. Let's, uh, even if the subject can't have psychic powers, I'm sure we'll find a decent duelist, uh, on our hands. Exclamation point! What? He's waking up? Our friend here is able to walk. Uh, take our little protege to his room. Cause now I will French. But uh, make sure no one realizes that this is not a psychic duelist because that would be very bad for some some reason that we will not discuss right now. So apparently we're gonna be in the Arcadian movement because like you know that's that's where we are. So let's uh let's go in our room then. Uh, this will be your room for today. Uh, if there's anything you need, uh, ask the two guys over there. Okay, sure. Other than that, here's a deck that you can use. Oh, we can't even make our own deck. That, that, that's just it. We have to get our starter deck. Supplied deck, not even, like, beginner deck. Since the deck has already been created, careful not to make... Oh, we can't even customize our deck? What? What? That is complete and utter garbage. A pleasure to meet you. My name is some... Ukata. Ukata. Uh, let us, uh, let us, uh, get ourselves here so I cannot fail, we cannot, I don't not even know, um, some new blood, huh, um, Liquid, Shadowthorn, huh, that's a really weird name, but, but then again, my name's Liquid, so I can't really judge, uh, what are you doing in your spare time, uh, you got anything up there, uh, okay then, something or other, yeah, that's right, it's, uh, Ukata something, but I don't even know what, these really weird names are question mark oh we're in the arcadian movement headquarters right you know the people with psychic powers from the anime that i never watched i don't know what's going on but anyways let's uh let's go over and click this thing oh hey look it's a checkpoint let's save yeah yeah let's save data saved all right so i guess we gotta duel someone but first let's take a quick look we can't check our deck out which sucks uh because it's locked apparently but, uh, there are no items! We have no items as well! 
Um, so that that that's something as well. Um, we can check our options, dual settings, card display on, keep self display chains off. Um, so now we just gotta figure out what are we gonna do. Um, uh, it might be a good idea to stay in your room until the next day. So I guess we gotta duel someone. So yeah, sure. Let's let's just duel him, and we'll see what we got. No psychic powers. Well, apparently we don't have psychic powers, which sucks. So you know that's not gonna be a problem. So let's just get this. Let's get this show out on the road and let's get this duel started. So, um, yeah, let's just, uh, let's summon, let's throw Dusk Tornado Face down, and then, that might be bad, but I really want to, I want to start off a bit defensively because I'm not entirely sure what he wants to do, so let's set Sangin in defense mode and we'll go from there, we'll go from there, so he's gonna, oh, we have, we have Synchro Monsters too, that's cool, that's cool. I'm, I'm pretty pleased that we have at least some synchro monsters we can synchro summon. But I'm not quite sure how to run this deck yet, so I'm not entirely sure what's the best thing to do, so... Uh, okay, it looks like he's just a healing guy. In which case, this, this duel will be pretty easy, because healing guys aren't really that strong. Because all they do is they just play cards to amp up their life points, and any strong offensive presence will just, like, completely knock him out, so then... Royal Knight. Okay, that's a pretty weak monster to summon, so which means we can probably summon a hard, hard hitter next turn and uh, just start wrecking his life points. Okay, but unfortunately its effect does activate, which means it's chain, which means we'll get to pick a monster card to add to our deck. I want to add it. Let's see, what card should I add? Um, I think I want to get Tuner Monster. Hmm. Hmm. What to pick? what to pick I think I'll pick the turbine because not only do I have another turbine in my hand I can summon that and then we can probably start amp power powering him up so I think we're gonna be good so yes I'm gonna play my dusk tornado now to pop his face down card because I'm not entirely sure what it's gonna be okay, it was a trap card not quite sure what that trap card does because uh, we're in the air where I just stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh right around the time that this deck came out, so I'm not 100% sure of all the cards, but uh, we'll just see what goes from there. Let's summon Shocker, and we can attack the we can attack Royal Knight and do a bit of damage, a bit of damage to um, to this guy. 400 points worth of damage, get some nice offensive pressure starting to build up. And from there, we will uh, hopefully be in a pretty good position. So let's end our, our turn. Next turn, we can summon like Turbine or something to the field and power him up that way. What's this card do? Okay, we get five. He gets 500 life points just by showing it. That's a pretty neat card, I guess. It's gonna summon a monster defense mode. It's not too bad, I don't think. Hmm, what to do? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna set uh, li the Light Sworn Hunter. Just in case I need to pop something later, I can do that. So I guess I'm just going to attack with Shocker, knock something out, and then next turn I can summon like another monster and start putting some offensive pressure on him. So I think I'll end my turn off. But you know, hopefully you are enjoying this episode. Hopefully you think you'll enjoy the Yu-Gi-Oh thing. Like I don't know, I just kind of felt like playing something other than Pokemon every once in a while. So you know, definitely tell me in the comment section below if you think you're going to be enjoying this series or not. Because if you are then uh, tell me that, cause, and if you aren't, then there's no sense in me for continuing recording these episodes, so, you know, that's, 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 so let's see. I think the most important thing is to pop that face down card just on the off chance that, uh, that it was gonna be something useful, but disappear, okay, that was completely and utterly worthless. Uh, no, I don't wanna change, I wanna save Rush Recklessly for later. So we lose, uh, we get, uh, Dusk Tornado gets banished, that's like, no point and not like wow dusk tornado got banished big whoop de poop but anyways what i can do now is i can summon majestic mech by sacrificing my light sworn hunter uh now we get some nice powerful offensive pressure going on and uh we'll set rush recklessly face down just in case he summons a powerful monster which i doubt he will because we are at the very beginning of the duel or like not the beginning of the duel but the very beginning of the game so they're probably not going to have that strong a deck just because our deck isn't quite so strong we, uh, we don't have uh, that big of a deck, or like a good deck quite yet, but anyways, nice, nice damage we're doing, which means next turn we can, uh, oh, we drew Mobius as well, so if he throws down another face down card, we'll, we'll be there, and he only has one card left in his hand, so he's gonna set that, okay, 
we want to activate card? No, we want to save Rush Wreck, we'll see for later. So let's see, what card do we draw now? Golden Sarcophagus! Not bad. Let's play that, and we'll see what card do we want to add to our hand. Hmm, not- Then we get to take a quick look at our deck, too. Hmm, so it looks like we're dealing with a Psychic deck. Psychic decks aren't that bad, I suppose. I just never really played Psychic decks that much. Hmm. Hmm, what card to pick? I guess, yeah, we'll pick Threatening Roar just in case we need it for later. And then what we can do is we can summon uh, Genex Turbine. And, oh, it gets a power boost right away. Okay, so it's a 1800. That's not bad attack. That's not bad attack at all. So, yeah, Genex, Genex Turbine can attack. And we can um, use the effect of Telekinesis Shocker. Mm, why would I play that effect? Fact, I'm not entirely sure what that would accomplish exactly, but uh, no, so nope. We're gonna attack directly for 1700 points with the damage, and then we can attack again directly with ma uh, Majestic Mech and uh, do 2400. So now we're in a really good position. He's at a low, low uh, amount of life points, and we have a monster with 2400 attack points, and we can summon another monster later at any time we want to. And we won the duel, I think. I think we won the duel, because we can sacrifice something to summon um, Mobius and take out his face down card, and then I think with all the face down cards we have, we can win the duel that way. So, yep, we're going to sacrifice uh, Shocker to summon out Mobius the Frost Monarch. We're going to activate its effect, and we're going to knock out that face down trap card. Uh, nope, we just want to uh, we just want to knock out that card, so I think we won. I think we won. Nope, we're gonna play Rush Recklessly to power up, I guess, Mobius. Yeah, we're gonna power up Mobius some. And uh, we're just going to attack directly now for uh, 3100, drop him down to, uh, to low life points, and then we're just gonna knock him out with the uh, turbine. And that will be the GOM. So we win the first duel, so yay us, we win our first duel, that's cool. And let's see, uh, all of these bonuses, 1200 duel points? Are you kidding me? Wow, okay. I did not expect that. Apparently we get a lot of duel points. That's that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, getting a lot of duel points is really cool. So, we just get all the duel points. All of them duel points. Uh, you're really amazing. I should have dedicated myself to training even harder like you. Yeah, thank you, man. Is that all you got? Let me show you how this works. Uh, exclamation points. Psychic duelist, listen up. The next operation will be carried out on our very own Arcadian movement has been decided upon. Our target will be Sector Security Event, the Fortune Cup. Uh, apparently a large number of duelists with amazing skill will be participating in the tournament. Sector Security, I cannot let them go about their business without oversight. Now can I? Akiza, come! Oh, Akiza, isn't she that one chick that's like the main protagonist, like, lover interest, I think? Something. She has been invited to take part in the Fortune Cup. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I need the three of you to infiltrate the rear uh, hall in order to support her. Wow. Okay. So, so us children are gonna break sector security. Obviously, that that's like a great plan, sir. Except for the fact that we're I don't know children, and what are we supposed to do? Like, I don't know. What are we supposed to do exactly? What like? I don't even know. So we have to head over to the tournament. Okay. Okay. That. I guess. Let's save, because only we, you, can prevent lost save data. Um, I guess, talk to you. We're going to the Fortune Cuff. Are you ready? Yeah. Well, I guess I'm ready. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not really sure if I'm ready or not, but, uh, we, we can't, since we're not invited, we can't go to the front. Okay, so let's, let's, I, I have no idea where, where I'm, where I'm going. Um, I'm running, I guess. Let's talk to this guy. This is the stadium for the focus. Oh, this, oh, oh, I guess this is the front area they were talking about. We can't go that way. Right, 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 righteous. I knew that. So I guess we go. Oh, oh, hey, look. Here are these guys. I believe we can enter from here. Um, we'll make sure no one's coming. You go first, Shadowthorn. You know, that's like every prank I've heard. Oh, hey, what? Oh, okay. Um, press the A button to push. Press the Y button to reset. Oh, oh, so it's a puzzle. That's cool. That's cool that, that they infiltrated like more than just card games in this. It's like actual puzzle game. That's really cool. So, um, I guess we go. Uh, I guess we go down that way. I don't know. I've never. Don't 
really, I guess we go down that way, and then that way, and then that way, and then that, I guess? And then we can just do that, because why not? And I think we actually, yeah, yeah, and we go down here, we push that one more, and yeah, we made it! Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And then, what's... Hey, hey, what, 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 tri triangle? What does triangle mean? Do not touch spare parts uh, exclusively for Jack Atlas's dual runner. Uh, is that what it says on the container? What's that? There's a, something stuck underneath the container. You obtained a dupe P code. You obtained 600 dual points? What? Well, let, me, let, me, let me see that again. Uh, do not touch spare parts. Uh, is that what it says? Oh, okay, that, that's really weird. Um, hey look, there's another one of those checkpoint thingies. I wonder why there's so many little, like, checkpoint save things. I have no idea. But let's just run around and we'll just see what we can do. Um, uh... Oh, there's a map right there! Uh, this front entrance, you need to go to the waiting room. Okay, where's the waiting room, though? Oh, wait, 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 we can go in here. Oh, I guess this is the waiting room. Okay, that's cool. Um, and then we go... Oh, wait, 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 there's another triangle thing. Maybe we get more dual points. Duelist may sit here and meditate before heading into the dual stadium. Yeah, 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 I know that, I know that, I know that. Um, are we gonna go up here? Uh, this is the way to the dual field, you need to go to the waiting room. Where is the waiting room? Aren't we in the waiting room? I, I, I don't know. I don't, I do not know. Oh, wait, we go, oh, okay. Sayer, I wouldn't have to think, Sayer, I wouldn't have to think anymore. You tell me everything I need to know. Oh, that sounds like every brainwashing cult. No, you have to think for yourself. No, I'll let Sayer think for me. No, stop running. I know you can still feel your true self. I have no opinion. I am emotionalist. Look at that face. He's so serious. I right, Synchro Summon. Stardust Dragon. Hey, look, it's a god. Cosmic Flare. Ah. What an amazing conclusion. With the last attack, a case of life points at zero. You say Fudo emerges victorious of this uh, epic battle. <laughs> Um, uh, huh? I hear a lot of cheering coming on. Is that the duel finished? More importantly, uh... Stop, 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 Calmly walking forward. I apologize for my laziness. Oh, lateness. I would never thought, uh, what? What? Uh, don't we need it for this plan to work? Now what? Uh, I guess we have to go home and forget about it. Uh, I think coming here is a, a waste of time. Uh, why don't we take a peek around, though? Okay, sure. Let's start spying. Hmm? Nice job, Akiza. Let's go home. Exclamation point! I like how everything's like exclamation points or question marks, because that's how, that's how we show emotion in the real world, by exclamation points and question marks over our heads. Uh, <laughs> stop right there! I'm a clown! And, and, and I'm a really short clown, too. Director Goodwin would like to see you! Hmm, <laughs> as if I would ever let him get my ah, uh, give him the time of day. As if I would ever let him get the time of day. <laughs> Feisty, aren't we? Uh, I guess I'll just have to show you take care of my force. Okay. Uh, girl, I don't have time to deal with this nonsense. Take care of these guys. Oh, oh, so, okay, so, so sh give us the, the, the grunts job. I see how it is. Cause, cause totally, three kids are gonna beat, like, the security. And, 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 we don't, like, get roughed up and, like, killed or anything. They challenge us to duels, cause, you know, we're little children. They can't just pick us up and throw us out at all, right? No, I see how it is. Alright, so let's get in this duel. Shifting shadows. What is this man doing? What is this man doing? Face down, two face down cards, one monster face down defense mode. That doesn't seem too threatening. What does that card do? Each player sends the top card of their deck to the graveyard. Okay. Um, let's summon... Hmm, I guess G uh, Genox Neutron to the field in attack mode. I guess we'll throw down Nightmare Wheel face down in case we need it for later, and then we can attack his face down monster. I'm not entirely sure what it's gonna be though. Oh, it's ver it's, it's it's a hamster. Okay, that's cute. That's cute, man. Having a hamster. Uh, he summons another hamster to take its place. Okay, that's fine. That's that's fine. I don't care. I do not care about that in the slightest. Um. Uh, okay, we'll just end off our turn then. I guess. Draw. Standby phase. Main phase. Mm, da, 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 da. Another monster face down defense position, okay. And shifting shadows, what? Okay, you just... Okay. No. 
That seemed very pointless to me. That seemed very, very pointless to me. Um... Hmm. Ooh, I, get, I drew a tuner monster, okay. So yeah, I guess I'll sacrifice Neutron to summon Mobius, the Frost Monarch. And I can activate its effect and pop both of your spell and trap cards. I guess Shifting Shadows isn't really a threat, it's just might as well pop it, you know. Just, like, might as well. I mean, it's not gonna be like that big a deal to me. But, you know, might as well get it out of the way. So let's just attack that card. Hey, look, it's Baby Dragon. That is a, this guy. This guy made security by using Baby Dragon in his deck. And not even Thousand Dragon. He's Baby Dragon. That is, that is a very sad. This guy is a bad example of security. If, if that's all security is, then I could be security with, like, my deck. I'll just go and say, hey, yo, I'm gonna use Baby Dragon. I'm gonna use Baby Dragon, and I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win with Baby Dragon. So, anyways, let's check our fusion. Actually, I think I might be able to Synchro Summon. Ooh, Synchro Summon. That looks cool. That guy looks cool. Let's see if I can Synchro Summon. I have, I have a tuner monster, right? Yeah. Alright, let's Summon you, and then let's Synchro Summon. Yes! Sub special Summon. Yes! Mmm, the Synchro Summon is here. You know, I probably should have just attacked and done damage, but... Psst. Yeah, that looks cooler. That looks cooler. Synchro Summon to the rescue. And yeah, let's enter our battle phase. Let's just pop that face down monster really quickly and get some life points back. So we get 900 life points back, I believe, with this effect. Okay, so he's gonna... He's going to summon another... Barbarian Vermin thingy. I don't care. Oh, no, he doesn't. Because apparently he doesn't have... He doesn't run three copies in his deck. What a loser. He doesn't even have three. Okay, I see how it is. He's gonna play a face down card? Okay. Okay, um... Let's summon... Let's set Old Vindictive Magician. Just in case he wants to summon another monster later, I can pop him and attack him directly again. So, attack him directly for 2700, and let's see, I'll just end our turn off. No real reason to activate Twister quite yet. So he hasn't summoned anything to really, okay, no, no, neither player can destroy set spells or trap cards on the field until your opponent's next end turn. Okay, that seems really pointless. And he just end his turn, okay. Uh, I guess I'll summon Mystic Tomato to the field in attack mode. And I can start attacking his life points directly with that. And uh, that should win me the game next turn. Because, yeah, I win the duel next turn because I can flip summon my uh, old Vindictive Magician if he does decide to summon a monster. And uh, I can win that way, so. I think I won, so. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely leave a like and a comment. Do uh, definitely comment down too if you want to see more of this or if you're like, nah, just stick to Pokemon. We subscribe for Pokemon. We want Pokemon because I get it. I get it, you know. I just want to try something new and different every now and then. So, you know, that's that's just that. Um, power Invader. If you want to control two or more monsters, you can special. That's cool. But anyways, let's just flip summon Old Vindicta Magician. We can activate its effect to destroy that monster. As a... Elabugagubug... Okay, that's very... Okay, why? Why? But uh, it doesn't matter because I win the duel now. I win. I win. So, let us sacrifice... Um, let's sacrifice Mystic Tomato to the Power Invader. And we'll end our battle phase. And we will attack. And that will... Um, that will be the duel, so thank you all for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you all uh, next time. Uh, actually, wait, no, we still have a little bit of time left. So, let's see, boom, no damage, no trap, no spells, no traps, tribute, single boom, 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 804,000, all the duel points. Well, 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 looks like they managed to escape. Uh, I, I suppose we have no choice but to fall back. Because, again, we're children, and you can't do anything else. Looks like we're, we're all done for the day. Plans, failures, let's head back home. Indeed, it was. Uh, most likely we won't be getting any orders today. Let's not waste our energy on unnecessary efforts now, shall we? Okay, let's go home then. Uh, come on, Shadowthorn, let's beat it. We don't want to have any more reason to be here. Okay.
Uh, exclamation point. Hey, you're a duelist from, from the Arcadia movement. I'm Carly. Uh, I want to tell you something very important. Uh, I want you to tell me everything about the Arcadia movement. Although, it looks like you're going to be pretty hard not to crack. I know, if I beat you in a duel, you have to promise to answer all my questions. I want to ask... Grah! Oh my gosh, something's missing in the, in the, the thing. And more importantly, it's going to happen right now. I got, I got to go to the stadium. Pronto. Uh, let's follow her because we have nothing better to do. Oh, well, what's that? What's who summons that huge dragon? It's gonna be huge! I gotta get an interview! I gotta get an interview! Ooh, look! It's it's like it's it's a pretty dragon. It's a pretty dragon. Vroom! Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. Uh, the, 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 the drama! Oh, we have a new king! You say food! Oh, with like 5 million O's at the end because that is apparently how you dramatically say something. Um, looks like it was a bit, oh, uh, looks like it was a breach for you too, huh? Yeah, I guess it was. I mean, we're being good friends and all. Why is this so, like, huh? Oh, the tournament was a remaining success. Everything was going according to plan. But what was that flashback? Seriously, though. Like, you say, sayer, what should I do now? Please tell me, what should I do? Uh, you should totally look into my eyes, let me hypnotize you, and, um, do whatever I say. Uh, such and not such. It should be better if you believe, uh, everything I tell you. <laughs> the things they put in this dialogue is just so hilarious. Just, just let me tell you everything you need to know. Just follow me and you'll be alright, kid. The next day. Yeah, you're feeling better now. After all, you staggered home yesterday and fell right to sleep. Sounds just like me at home. Seriously, all I do is, like, record, school, eat and sleep that's my entire day i don't do anything else like for example today off topic but uh i woke up i did a little schoolwork i was really tired and i slept for four hours because everyone needs a four hour nap in their day but i guess that'll be the end of this episode so thank you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed uh leave a like comment and subscription if you feel you will enjoy comment that also down below i'm gonna save my progress and that'll be the end of this episode so thank you all for watching and uh i guess i'll see you next time bye